find the gradient of the tangent to the curve y y cube plus 3xy plus 2x cube is equal to 16 at the point minus 1 3 so here this is a implicit function so you, we have to implicit sorry differentiate this implicitly so I'm going to use the operator to each of these terms so well this is d by dx of y cube plus uh, d by dx of 3xy plus d by dx of 2x cube is equal to d by dx of 16. So I just applied the derivative operator to each of the terms of the expression. So this implies here you're differentiating y cube with respect to x. So you can't differentiate y cube with respect to x. Well, then I can differentiate y cube with respect to y. So I'm going to write d by dy of y cube. And I, as I'm writing dy, to cancel that, I'm going to write dy by dx. So this is basically the chain rule. Okay. So here now you can differentiate y cube with respect to y. And this dy and dy gets cancelled. So what you're left with is d by dx of y cube. I'm going to factor the 3 out. And I'm going to use the chain rule for x times y. Sorry, product rule, not chain rule. So I'm, I can say, well, that is d by dx of x times y. This is the product rule. Plus d by dx d by dx of y times x. So first differentiating x, we are differentiating x and leave, leaving y as it is and then you're differentiating y. Okay. And now this is d by dx of 2x cubed is 6x squared and d by dx of 16 is equal to 0. So let me scroll this up slightly. So this is implies d by dy of y squared is 3y squared times dy by dx plus, I'll keep the 3 out, d by dx of x is 1. So this is 1 times y plus d by dx of y is dy by dx times x. So I'll write like this. So this is x times dy by dx plus 6x squared is equal to 0. And the next step, I'm going to divide the whole thing by 3. If you divide the whole thing by 3, this simplifies to y squared times dy by dx Plus, you're dividing the whole thing by 3, yeah? So just to explain what I've done is I've divided this by 3, this the whole thing by 3, this by 3, and this also by 3. So what remains is, you can open the bracket, so this is y plus x times dy by dx plus 2x squared is equal to zero. So if you go slowly, there are less chances of mistake. So let us tidy this up. So I'm going to write this like this. So y squared times dy by dx, grouping the terms with dy by dx times x times dy by dx, and moving the rest to the other side. This is minus 2x squared minus y. So what I've done is I've moved this and this to the right-hand side. So now you can factor out dy by dx. So if you factor out dy by dx, you have <coughs> y squared plus x. And if you factor the minus out, you will have 2x squared plus y. Okay, so now finally you can say dy by dx. This is a gradient function dividing both by 
x plus y squared that will be minus out so this is 2 x squared plus y divided by writing this in a better order so this is x plus y squared so this is a gradient function of the implicit function now the question was we want to find the gradient at the point negative 1 3 so I'm going to use so so the question was dy by dx dy by dx finds when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 3 when x is 1 and y is negative 3 so just substitute x is 1 and y is negative 3 so this would be minus 2 times 1 squared uh, am I doing something wrong yeah negative 1 comma 3 sorry it's the other way around uh, what did I do so let me slightly scroll up okay hopefully yeah this has to go the other way around negative 1 comma 3 this is negative 1 comma 3 okay so when we put <coughs> this will be 2 times negative 1 squared is going to be 1 plus 3 divided by negative 1 plus 3 squared is going to be 9 so which is how much minus this is 2 plus 3 which is 5 over 8 so the gradient is minus 5 over 8 so minus 5 over 8 so let's use the calculator is minus 5 divided by 8 which is minus 0 0.625 so the gradient is the gradient of is minus 0 0.625 and then from this you can also find the equation of the tangent so here the question was only to find the gradient but if you had to find the equation of the tangent you can just so let's complete it off suppose if the question was to find the tangent equation of the tangent so we know the gradient equation of the gradient is y is equal to mx plus c okay and we know the gradient m is minus 0.625 so I'll show this on a application on a program where the calculator sorry the program tells you the equation of the tangent and we also know when x is negative 1 y is equal to 3 so I'm going to write like this so I can say y is equal to negative 0.625 x plus c and so let's put x as negative 1 and y is 3 so 3 is equal to this will become 0 0.625 because negative 0 0.625 times negative 1 is going to be 0 0.625 plus c so which implies c is 3 minus 0 0.625 so 3 minus 0 0.625 3 minus 0.625 equals 2.375 so 2.2.375 to be exact so the equation of the tangent you can say is this implies the equation of the tangent is y is equal to uh, negative 0 0.625 6 to 5 x plus 2.375 now I'll show this on a program called Graphmatica now <coughs> let me make this bigger now this is the this is the equation of the curve and uh, here is the equation so this is the equation of the curve by the equation is y cubed plus 3xy plus 2x cubed is equal to 16 
and draw the tangent so the equation is I hope you can see the slope is or the gradient is minus 0 0.625 and this is the dotted line is the is the tangent which is passing through this point okay and uh, is in fact intersecting the other points on the curve so this is just passing through this point so at negative 1 3 the equation is y is equal to negative 0 0.625 plus 2.375 to be exact so this is doesn't make sense